If you're watching this video, then you probably have a loved one with a cleft lip and or palate. There are many pre-surgical molding options that may be beneficial, and in many cases it's best to do none of them. So make sure you take the time to discuss all options before proceeding. Should you and your team decide to use the Dynacleft system for taping, this instructional video will offer some pointers. First, remember that the system is only useful the first few months of life, so taping should begin immediately after birth. The unilateral and bilateral systems are slightly different. The unilateral system has two sticky sides and a central elastic region. The bilateral tape has three sticky surfaces and two elastic regions. First begin by drying the skin. An alcohol wipe works great. Then apply the tape on the non-cleft side for unilateral clefts first. Gently pull to activate the elastic across the cleft and then apply to the other side, pulling the cheeks together. Make sure you keep the tape as high as possible so it fits right under the nose. If it's too low, the tongue will tend to moisten it and push it right off. For the bilateral, place the tape on the central lip first, then activate one side at a time. If one cleft side is bigger than the other, you want to put a little more stretch on that side in order to maintain symmetry. Every 24 hours, the tapes will need to be changed. Be sure to come in for frequent checks or FaceTime us so we can check your progress along the way. Some kids will develop sensitivity on the skin. For those, placing a tegaderm on the cheeks underneath the tapes may help to resolve this. Next, let's look at the nasal former. To use this successfully, you should gently Vaseline the nose first. Place the tape through the plastic nasal stent. You can cut and adapt the tapes based on the size of your baby's face. Dry the forehead with alcohol. Place the nasal stent into position and gently lift to activate the elastic and then tape to the forehead. We'll show you the proper angulation as this does change based on the shape and severity of the cleft. Again, this should be changed every 24 hours and kept dry. Any questions, please contact us.